Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us here on News 2 Midday. We're so glad you're spending part of our day with us. I'm AC Barker. News 2 is your local election headquarters, and of course, we have a lot to get to on this election day as the polls are open across the country. We will be covering all of the major races throughout the evening. We also have crews right now checking out some of our busiest polling sites. We have news to Emma Charles live in James Island. We'll get to her in just a moment. But first, we want to check in with news to Riley Benson live in Seacoast Mount Pleasant. Riley, I know turnout's been a little bit slow today. What's it looking like right now? Yeah, good afternoon. You see, we're here at Seacoast Church in Mount Pleasant off of Long Point Road. And I will tell you right now, it's probably about the busiest we've seen all morning, but I'm going to tell you it's not busy at all. We've seen a number of people go in and out of the Seacoast Church to vote. They've done it in about five to ten minutes. Now, this isn't unexpected. We know that the South Carolina has seen a record-breaking early voter turnout period to the tune of about 1.6 million South Carolinians. So workers were expecting it to be a little bit easier today. Now, I do want to give you a look at where this entrance is to this church. You can see no voters, no lines, and it's an easy process at this point. Isaac Kramer with the Charleston County Board of Elections says they are fully staffed and prepared to keep things running smoothly across all Charleston County voting locations. If you're planning to come out today, a couple things to keep in mind. Officials say make sure you double check your polling location since many have changed since the last election. If you're looking to beat the crowds this morning, it was the busiest point, and of course, now this lunch hour rush, we're seeing an uptick a bit now expected to be the busiest points. Kramer says as soon as polls opened at seven in lunchtime. Now, if you can come a little later when you come, Kramer is encouraging everyone to exercise your right to vote. Bring that photo ID, and he says his team is more than ready to serve you. It's our Super Bowl. It's the moment that we've been preparing for for years. Um, and those who haven't voted yet, you should come on out and cast your ballot, make your voice heard. And a couple quick things for you. Polls will be open until 7 p.m. Bring that photo ID. If you're in line by 7 p.m., you'll be guaranteed to vote. And you can check your voting polling location at scvotes.gov. We want to go over to News 2's Emma Charles, who is on James Island. And Emma, you said earlier things were slow. How are things looking right now? Good afternoon. Riley, it's been slow and steady here. There's been no lines and officials really aren't expecting any lines today. They said that many people requested absentee ballots or voted early. Charleston County has already seen about 54% of voter turnout in just early voting and absentee ballots. Today is the last day for voters across the nation to make their voices heard. State Election Commission officials tell me they're still preparing for a high turnout today. And as for results, votes cannot be recorded or tabulated until after polls close tonight. But officials say they typically have results fully reported by the end of election night and that is the expectation for this evening as well. In the James Island precinct they have about 8,000 registered voters and have seen about 400 come through this morning. I spoke to one first-time voter about why he came out today. So it was my first time voting and uh, this year and I did I chose today because it was so convenient and everything was set up it's a quick easy process Good parking right here locally, so you know, it was just an easy process, and I felt that I needed to do it. I'll be talking to voters the rest of the afternoon. Live on James Island, Emma Charles, count on two.